today we got a special guest, Bud Copeland. Why don't you give us just a quick little intro and let everybody know who you are. Thanks, friends. Um, like you said, my name is Bud Copeland at This Buds For You. Make sure you include an E in there. Don't want to get sued. Anheuser Busch <laughs> copyrighted that like back in the early '80s. Uh, lifelong golfer, <laughs> new to this this uh, ecosphere of golf, the podcasting and online YouTube world, which is growing and more fascinating every day, especially with shows like this, uh, journeys like yours, musicians, golfers, everybody kind of coming together over this one universal frustrating. Uh, you know, activity. I've been playing golf probably since I was you know, 10, 11, 12 years old is when I started. And then I kind of mm -hmm. got serious when I was 13, 14 was, uh, was pretty, was good enough to be a good high school golfer. I'm what I call like a gym class athlete. I made varsity and all that good stuff. But <laughs> nice. the first time I stepped foot on the university of Georgia course, when I was there as a freshman, I was like, I'll, I'll take a peek into, into uh walk on tryouts. I'll go out there and hit some range balls and see what the other guys look like. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I realized I hit my ceiling, went on with life, and then uh, kind of rediscovered a passion for golf when uh, it was taken away from me for a couple of years. And and that's when I made some life decisions to bring it back into the foray. Uh, saw somebody on Twitter saying they wanted to talk about golf, and that's when Divots and Pivots was born. Check us out Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. live on this sports podcast network, TSPN on YouTube, and then podcast cool. the next day. And uh I also post every morning, and I'm assuming it was one or the other or our good friend Nate over at Acorn Hills where he's spreading the love. Something brought us together, and I'm super fascinated yeah. to hear your stories as well, especially when somebody – TJ breaks 80. I can't wait till we actually get into the, the, the nitty-gritty of how the game's going and where you are. But uh, thanks yeah. again, gentlemen, for having me on. I really do appreciate it. I look forward to the conversation. And now it's your turn. The ball is in your court. Well, tell, <laughs> who are you? Who Give me the quick cup yeah. of coffee. What do I need to know about your, your game before we get any deeper into this? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I'm TJ. I mean, I, I kind of made the Everybody solo Everybody else knows you, but thank you for giving me last the year. official. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then, uh, you know, I connected with Nate kind of early on. I feel like shortly after following Acorn Hills is when I just saw, like, your posts then with your, your morning coffee and your uh, <laughs> insightful feedback. On I, I like that you do, like, not just PGA Tour, but, you, like, you touch on live, you touch on, like, the LPGA. And, and like you said, now it's the women's amateurs at um, Augusta this week. Um, so it's, like, it's, it's cool getting those insights of not just the PGA Tour, you know, a little bit of, of everything I'd yeah, I always I love appreciate those videos that. And, yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. Um, T yeah, and, Gary, how, I, I'm on, I, I saw you, I picked you up on Instagram and I see a lot of music, which my brother in law yeah. is a sick musician. I say, sick, bro. He's a sick, musician bro. out west. <laughs> uh, if you ask him, one of the first things he'll tell you is about playing the Viper Room or tuning up for uh, the Muse in Mexico City in front of like 50,000 okay. people. But he's a <laughs> great, yeah. mu he, I would say his, he's a step above, if I'd had to make an analogy, in music, he's a step above where I am in golf. He's probably a plus handicap in music. Okay. I mean, the guy, the guy's cool. insane, but he obviously has a real nine to five. Uh, music's his yeah. passion. But uh, when I saw music, how did what drew you to golf? How did you get inv involved with golf? And then uh, how is that game going? Yeah. No, I mean, uh, so I've been, I was a, I've been in music since I was literally since I could like talk. I was started singing like I was in kindergarten through twelfth grade in choir. Uh, I actually was a, a baseball player, so I played. I was a pitcher in college through about '93, uh, and then At, I had from the right, um, hold on from the right or the left from the right or the left. Right, right. Fuck. Yeah. Did if you I was a lefty, I wouldn't have? be here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say because I threw '98 yeah. from the right, but that's all I could do is throw '90 90, or '98. Sorry, '93 from the right. '98. Uh, <laughs> I, <say>, <laughs> I, I wouldn't be here if that's what. <laughs> no, I could throw '93 yeah, really. from the right, but I learned real quick, especially growing up in Florida, like. Ah, six foot, right-handed, ninety-three. There, there are the yeah. rest of your your herd, unless you have Literally. two, three other pitches. Did you have some other pitches? Yeah, yeah no, I had. So I had my four seam. I had a cutter. I had a really good curveball. Uh, I had a good changeup. Um, yeah, I was working okay. on yeah, like I, a like a slurve. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Why well, actually? My so we actually had um, a pitching coach. My sophomore year of college was just out of a Detroit Tiger situ uh, uh, farm system. He's the uh, Paul Nardozzi is his name. He's the all time strikeout leader at Pitt University and wins leader oh, there. Um, he came in and he showed me a grip. And basically, we did P90X yoga like four times a week. Plus, he showed me how to do like a different 90 minutes like, of grip. Just, it's not yoga. Dude, it's I went, I went from pain. sitting, I went from topping out at like 88 to literally 93 in like four months. It was yoga. nuts. 
yoga. I led the nation in junior college in strikeouts, uh, strikeouts per nine, and I was tied for the uh, wins record in, in the country my sophomore year. So that's like a that's a that, that's not even a schmedium. That's a large flex. Well done, young man. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because but then. Yoga. I just like to party. So when the SEC call, called my coaches and they're like, hey, uh, what is this guy's GPA? And they're like, he can't even spell GPA. And I'm like, fuck yeah, let's get this going. <laughs> so, but tying it all back in, I've always done music. Music was like a hobby. I literally came home to my hometown and I'm like, what the hell am I going to do? I was playing in this beer Shred. league, softball league. My buddy was like, hey, my other friend runs an open mic. Come down and play. I played three songs every head in the bar like snapped around and i've been playing for 12 years now i was on the voice a couple years ago so it's like yeah life's wild man oh m goodness and then how did yeah. golf like how did because again yeah. if if we're going to stereotype which is not a nice thing to do but they don't come out of nowhere um what you just <laughs> described you know the baseball the baseball is where the crossover comes in i too was a baseball player like i said and i had really good hand-eye mm -hmm. coordination so when i was introduced to golf and unlimited range balls when my family moved from Greenville, South Carolina to Tallahassee, Florida. It was like I was 12 years old, no friends, didn't know anybody, but I had unlimited range balls and we had the golf channel. So I would stay at home when yeah. it was 140 degrees outside, watch golf channel. And then like at, from, you know, four in the afternoon till dark, go hit balls and then be back at 7 a.m. And that's just kind of how oh, I picked I it up. So how was it in it, it for me? It was liter literally because my dad played every Sunday while I, while we went to church with mom. And then once it was like I was bored as shit and had nothing to do, it was in front of me. So how did it get introduced into yeah. your bloodstream? So like, so TJ and I basically became friends because he manages the studio that I was recording my album at, and like we have known each other like in passing through that through just like the hometown stuff and whatnot yeah. and mutual friends. But then we started, you know, we got close to that, and we're like, TJ, he's a big golfer, and I was like, oh shit, you know, I'm one of those annoying people where I'm just naturally good at. A lot of things and i i've learned I that, that it's not it's just it, it just am i just pick it up my brain's like i, I know what i'm doing um so <laughs> but like we that. kind of start we went we started going and we went with a couple of our other friends who are just absolute dog shit but we love them <laughs> yeah. um but him and i started like you know i would beat him and then we would then he'd beat me and we'd get like real good we do both have really bad rounds have really good rounds and he's like you know what fuck it he's like we're watching all these people online like we can do this we're funny we're like relatable we know what we're doing like the tech side he's all about this i just show up for for comedy and you know i'm i'm the wild card from always sunny so that's yeah. what it is I mean, we started my playing more tournaments together last year and then it's just kind of was like that led to That's recording it. the cart cams, and then it was like, yeah. we should just film all these shots. Your cart too. cam. The cart cams are, are – uh, that's actually the guys I play with this summer, and I'm in a, a league every other Saturday. And what, you're right. As soon as you hit that competitive, now we are all really good buddies and <clears throat> mm -hmm. all, you know, off the course and whatnot. My co-host, Andrew – He's the he's the production side of everything, and and like like you, Gary, I'm just there for morale and uh, for talent. <laughs> so, uh, no, thanks. I appreciate that little like uh, trip down memory lane. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.